Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Scarbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Saturday, December 19th, or Sunday, December 20th. If you're in Australia New Zealand, the moon has shifted into high seas that occurred at 7, sort of 7.39 a.m., I think it was, on the east coast of the U.S. And so we move from the collective sign of um, Aquarius to the even more collective sign of Pisces. Of course, Pisces brings that otherworldly flavor to the day, a mystical quality um, that uh, should come in handy today. Uh, big, big shift today. Today, uh, the planet Jupiter is, or has at this point anyway, exited uh, Capricorn where it has been unhappily there for a year. Um, Jupiter is the planet of expansion. And in Capricorn, <laughs> what get what get what's get what gets expanded, excuse me, is our realization of our limitations. Limitations get expanded in Capricorn. And so we become innate, innately aware of uh, where we're limited, where we where perhaps we need to be limited. Um, and, and how to uh, approach our limitations in, a, uh, in, in, in the spirit of learning from them, learning from them. And uh, it's a little bit crunchy. Um, I'm going to show you the, the, uh, the floor here. That's, that's bunny tracks right there, <laughs> in case you were wondering. We have some bunny tracks here. We also have some... No, I think these are all bunnies so far. I see bunny. I like to come out here, um, you know, before the people, just to kind of see what's what's been in the yard. Um, lots of bunnies. So um, Jupiter now is in Aquarius, a sign that it is more comfortable in. Not the most comfortable of signs, but certainly more comfortable than Capricorn. Uh, and Jupiter will be in Aquarius for about a year. It does actually dip into Pisces in 2021 shortly. Uh, moves, for, moves into Aquarius, through Aquarius, dips into Pisces, and then backs up into Aquarius again. Jupiter does love being in Pisces, by the way. So uh, Jupiter is not quite as comfortable as, as it could be. Uh, but it's more comfortable than it was. So we might be feeling that. We might be feeling not quite comfortable, but more comfortable than we were. Jupiter in Aquarius is uh, expansion of uh, humanitarian endeavors, working toward the common good. Um, Jupiter is an expansive energy. It's the energy, to a certain extent, of freedom, it's the energy of justice. It can be the energy of exaggeration. It can be the energy, energy of too much. Too much and not enough. Sounds familiar, right? Uh, <laughs> but now that it's in Aquarius, we can start to move in a more collective direction, in a, more, in a direction where we're taking care of, you know, we become our brothers and sisters keepers. That continues in Pisces, by the way, when it goes into Pisces. But um, it is a time where this is sorely needed. And we do have a conjunction coming up in a couple of days on the, uh, the uh, winter slash summer solstice, depending on whether you're here in the northern hemisphere or in the southern hemisphere when the sun moves into the sign of Capricorn. On that day, we have a conjunction between Saturn, which just moved into Aquarius two days ago, and now Jupiter, which has moved into Aquarius, starting a 20-year cycle. Jupiter and Saturn are considered social planets. It's how we uh, structure our society, how our society expands and grows and the structures are created through that. So this 20 year period should be a period of time in which we are working towards the common good. 
That is the direction society needs to take. Now, will it take that direction? Um, it probably will. Uh, completely and utterly, we'll see. You know, we interact. Society is really what we agree upon, right? And so we have to come to terms with what we agree upon. Um, there's some other little... Um, let me see, there's some... There's some more little, I don't know what these are, these little tracks. I don't know if you can see them. Um, but there's some big tracks over here, and I'm not sure if it's it was Michael, my husband, or, <laughs> oh, it's Michael. All right, he was probably looking for tracks. It's was like, I think it's deer. No, it's Michael. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I hope you're enjoying this little winter wonderland that is my yard. Uh, I'm enjoying it, except that I have some some snow going into my boot which isn't very much fun uh, but beyond that it's lovely the other things happening today is a trine between venus and chiron it's an opportunity for understanding an opportunity for healing it's beautiful energy coming with the uh, jupiter moving into into aquarius and we also have a conjunction between the sun and Mercury, this is what we call a superior conjunction. Superior conjunctions are conjunctions of Mercury and the Sun when Mercury is direct, is direct. So, um, and we still have Mercury, of course, in Sagittarius and the Sun in Sagittarius. And so this is a focus on truth. This is a focus on what we believe to be true. Um, this is a focus in which um, you know, Mercury, we need to have some facts to back up our truth. Uh, and so if you don't have facts to back up your truth, and it's simply belief, um, perhaps you need to reevaluate that truth, or perhaps you don't. But it's definitely worth uh, looking for the, uh, looking for the um, information that's going to validate things and verify. It's about verification, really. That's part of... The Sagittarius thing is verification, verifying the truth um, through a massing of information and a pondering of that information. So there's that going on as well. So I'm going to just turn here and we have uh, my, my bird feeder that was full of bird seed yesterday is completely empty of bird seed today. So I am going to have to fill that in, feed the little critters. They've been having a grand old time here, and I've had a grand old time watching them. I didn't realize how many birds there were in the neighborhood until I put out a, a spread, a chow. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little walkabout. Like and subscribe, and I will see you again tomorrow. I'm going to see, uh, perhaps get on today. Uh, and I'm looking to do another high tea with Denise. So we'll see uh, if we can get that done today or tomorrow, perhaps. All right, guys. Love you all. Take care. Namaste.